All right, hello. This is a response video to a question on Reddit. Uh, the question was posted by WIG8612, and the question was, how can I make a circular light that follows the player without a plugin? Um, now, um, OP, I understand that you're on the switch. There might be some differences, but in general, this should point you in the right direction. So first of all, some setup. We need to have two images. Um, now, I put these in the picture folder. Give me a second. So picture folder, I have one called uh, black square, I have one called black bars, I have one called iris out. All right, the iris out is the core here, it sounds like, of your question. All right, so these are just basic images. The main thing is that this iris out one is bigger than the screen. All the others are the 824 by 816 by 624, I believe it is. This one is definitely bigger. This one is 1632 by 1248. And that's because I'm going to be setting the origin point of the image, the pivot point of the image, in its center instead of its top left corner because I want it to follow the player, right? So you need to have some extra black to make sure it doesn't show part of the screen when you're on the edge. Okay, so make your images. That's step one. Step two is you're going to need a parallel event that is tracking the player's movement. Now I do this in a common event called Game Manager, and I do this for all of my games. I have uh, a variable tracking the map X, a variable tracking the Y X, and then a screen X and a screen Y for the player. So we're going to be using the screen X and screen Y here. I turn this uh, common event on with a switch called Game Manager that I have at the beginning of my game. Now you could do this just for one map and just have a parallel event in the corner that's doing the same thing, tracking the screen X and Y of the player. So all right, that's step two. Step three is you're going to go into your map. In this case, it's the Silver Strike Mine. And you're going to have an event that shows a picture, the iris out, centered. Well, actually, I'll just open it up. Here we go. So the image iris out, origin point center, designation with variables of the location, player screen X, player screen Y. These are just variables that are being controlled by that parallel event and then everything else standard. All right, so you're going to hit OK. And when we come into it, it's going to look like this. Oh, <laughs> I got to turn transparency off on my uh, lead. Sorry about that. Try that again. OK. So, when you go in, there you go. Now, that fog effect I have is from a plugin, so I don't think you'll have that on the switch, but I believe this is what you wanted your light to do, all right? And if you go over to the edge, this is important. This is why it has to be a little bit bigger. Notice how it doesn't go off center, right? If you do it, make it just the size of the screen, it's gonna, the player's gonna move up to like the top of the little circle when you're on an edge of the map. So there you go. So that covers the main functionality you were looking for. Real quickly, I did want to say you'd mentioned um, that you were going to potentially have a mechanic where the lantern goes out. The way you would do that is really simple. In that parallel event uh, that we mentioned earlier, you would have a wait command and set it for however long, maybe 300 milliseconds, maybe a thousand milliseconds. And then over in this command, when you would have the common event show a picture let's see actually how would you want to do that you would need the parallel event to be on this map um, you wouldn't be able to use one like my game manager but one in that parallel event have it run down a timer and when that timer's out have the other picture show as picture two on top of picture one so then it would be totally blacked out Whenever you want to leave the map, just make sure you turn off any pictures that are on, and that should cover everything you want to do. Let me know if you have any other questions over there on the Reddit thread, and I hope this is helpful. Thanks, and take care.